<laughs> Back again with this banger music. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> drop that beat. <laughs> but of course, despite, well, this music is a banger and the title screen is also a banger. But honestly, in my opinion, nothing can beat the voice of my bloody bell. Nothing can beat the song of Clo. Clo's song. And I actually have, well, quite a bad news for you guys because after I finished playing episode 2, I really, really genuinely go to the internet. I sweep through the whole internet like YouTube, Spotify, YouTube Music. I can't go to Apple Music but I scored through all of them. I surveyed, okay, I scouted each one of them and there is no song... There is no official close song. And oh my god, I am sad. Okay, <laughs> I had like a whole breakdown that evening. After I finish recording, I go through YouTube, I go through Spotify, there is a nothing, nothing that looks like a full Clo official song. I have a mental breakdown. <laughs> I was like, why? Why there is no close song? Why? I mean, that whole song for me can overturn the whole Disney business. <laughs> Disney princess business, yes. So, I'm sad. Okay, I'm really sad. But, alright, welcome to the episode 3 of Little Guardsman. That's enough of how I feel after the whole close song. <laughs> Just in case you are curious. And, well, in this episode, let's continue. Hopefully, we can see more of Clo. I definitely feel that we need more Clo song. Okay, if there is no one, no one out there to support Clo, I will be the only one that will support Clo. If Clo has a fan club, then please know that I'm going to be her number one fan, okay? I'm the founder of that fan club and I'm her fans, number one fans. Anyone who wants to be her number one fans has to get through me, alright? So, okay, let's just continue before I go on long terrain of how much I am um, infatuated with Clo and her song and her music. But again, please remember that we all, we all, well, I think it's just me, but all of us, okay, I'm just going to include you guys in my opinion, in my statement that all of us are waiting for the full song, official song of Clo, of our bloody bell. Yes. All right. Oh yeah, we were supposed to... Oh gosh, I'm not liking that. We have to meet that royal jester. And, well, my arch enemy so far. Dungeon 7, room 4, room four Boulevard, the, the dollar. Okay, I only know hers, the efforts, and I can't even say their name right. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Mm-hmm. Is this the right... Yeah, I can't go back to the tavern, I think. Oh, Okay. Oh, why are we here? Why... Oh my god, did we get lost? This is like the extreme level of getting lost. You were supposed to go home, go to bed, and then you suddenly end up in, well, a room with a bed, but with a much harder board, with a much harder texture. Okay? And it's empty, I think. Walk carefully, Lil. Ah, what should we do? I have a child with me. 12-year-old child, and... Right now, if there is anyone going to jail, it's not going to be Lil. A children never gets into jail. I think the only thing that they will get into if they misbehave is the bathroom. Yeah, so if anyone going into jail, it would be someone with enough age. And I think being a vampire gives me enough age to go inside. 
The jail. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I... No, no, no. Can I... No, I'm scared. Wait. Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. Honestly, honestly, if I have to be honest with you, I also... Like, the first time I realized... Why do they not have bathroom in jail? And then there's one point, I think when I'm questioning that and my friend pointed at the bucket. Like, we were watching this movie. I forgot what movie is that. And my friend pointed to the bucket and says like, that's the bathroom. And that's when I was like, all silent. Okay, and then I was just like, horrified. Like, huh? <gasps> Okay, all right, that's wild, but then again, that's jail. So wait, that, and that actually give me an, a reason to not get into jail because I don't want to have my bathroom turned into a bucket. So if you need any motivation to not commit any criminal act, just look at that bucket and realize that the bathroom that you love, the bathroom that you go to every day is going to change to that bucket right there, alright? And okay, I can't open that. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon, right? And this one... <sighs> Oh no! Oh no! Ideals for <sighs> prisoners who only have one arm. <laughs> Hilltop Studios, I think we need to talk about our dark joke preference here. I think we need to have like a whole consultation session with a therapy, with a professional about our morality. I say our because I get the joke laughing <laughs> oh gosh i'm holding myself to not like laugh out loud like just <laughs> well inside i'm like yes i understand what that means and that is hilarious no but actually a prisoner even though they have two arms they can still be chained to there yeah you can still get chained over there but it's like yeah just one arm and the other one like can still move around and yeah i think this is the room that we were supposed to go should we knock i think we should knock 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 uber food your delivery is here is this the right place i don't think so that the game told us to go here, so yes? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. <laughs> Very polite. Very polite. Imagine if you are like walking up into like a horror house or a house attraction or a horror attraction and you are like standing in front of it and is this the horror house? And then the ghost working inside is like, It is! Come inside! Get scared! Do that! Yes! <laughs> no. Should I? Oh, oh, oh. I'm not liking that sound. Uh, oh? Wait, what oh, is there. this place? Hello! Welcome to my lair of chaos. <laughs> Oh, you dare? I dare? And oh my god, what room this is? This is so cute. They have, oh my god, this is Lucy, but my little pony version, I think. And oh my god, they have whips, schools. Oh my god, they even have this. What is this called again? Bloody Mary? No, no, no. Rose, oh my god, I forgot, but this is a torture device, I know, but I forgot the name. And why is everyone here? W what kind of party that we are holding right now? I'm excited. And and why are you hanging in there? Cat, please get down. It uh -huh. looks like a bedroom. Huh? It doesn't look like a bedroom. 
It looks it looks more like those secret hideout that you have with your friends and all of you like to go here just to evade the reality, the harsh reality outside or just to evade your parents calling. But right now all of the people in this room except Lil and Moi, I think, is old enough to be a parent themselves. It is his damn bedroom. Huh? So dirty. And where did he sleep? Inside this one? Inside this torturous device? I mean, I am a vampire. I sleep in a coffin, but even my coffin doesn't have teeth. We don't have any biting relationship between me and my bedroom. Between me and my bed, my bed coffin. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. <laughs> minimalist at its finest. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Okay, and, and they are all so tall, like I'm just this small child. Yeah? I am. I am the little guardsman. Why are you all so tall? Nah, my neck hurt. <laughs> my neck hurt, okay, for doing that. And yeah, yeah, I am. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. True. I mean, you say little guardsman. I already checked that one, little. Mm-hmm. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. Oh? What? Hello, hello ma'am. Yeah, thank you for the sudden promotion that I don't think any 12-year-old ever get in this life. What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like every day working at the guardsman post is like Oh yeah? Oh, a new a new a new person coming to the gate. Wait, let, let me adjust my chair. Yeah, I can finally see you, sir. And what business do you have in our guardsman post? Yeah, ple please don't mind me. I might be small, but I have this tall chair to boost my height so that I can take a proper look at you. Mm-hmm. I see. Then you're free to go. Huh? <laughs> Just like that? Wait, what about our dad? What about Hamish? What about Hamish and his gambling addiction? Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. Mm, okay. Wait, you are the one who is sending invitation to black mages to come to the city, okay? The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? I understand, ma'am. I am understand. I am the embodiment of safety and security of the sprawl itself. But why would I be? I mean, the game is named Little Guardsman, so of course I will be working as a guard. But we have a dad in here, okay? Why is my dad just suddenly retired from his job? Ah. Uh... Yeah, n not quite, I think. I, I don't dare to talk back at her, okay? She has that huge sword behind her back. She can bomb me if I say something that doesn't really goes with her preference. Not quite. Going forward, we want you to enact our wishes and whims when deciding who should enter and not enter the sprawl. Understand? Wait, why am I should be reporting to you guys? You, you, you? Are you three paying me? Did you three pay for my bills? Did you three pay for my soft bath? What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. True. True. And we got jail immunity. Damn it. You've got us there. But how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball and we'll forget about the whole thing. 
Wait, why is everyone in the sprawl love gambling? Why is everyone in the sprawl love this kind of game of chance? But why do you all love our NG? But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? No! <laughs> that, no, no, of course not. That is like, oh my god, the plan of a game. Like mobile online games, who is all about cash grab. Okay, just, go, just do gacha. Okay, no matter how nefarious or unreasonable the gacha system is, go gacha. Sounds like a deal? There is no deal in the first place. Huh. Do I even have a choice? True. I mean, we have Kids' Choice Awards, so you have a choice, Lil, but not that kind of choice. Yes, you choose which hand. Well, I think you can like use your shoe. Just take off your shoe, throw him, throw it at his nose. I think that will hurt. Not the brightest one, is she? <laughs> how how dare they? I mean, hello. I mean, who prevented all of those people to get into the sprawl this past two days? Not the brightest one, is she? Excuse me, ma'am. You are the one who invited Dark Mage. Okay, to this uh, so not island, to this town. I think I have been playing Witch of an Island too much. I think, but yes, I mean, you are the one inviting bad people, ma'am. You are also not the brightest one in this room. Let's just accept it. This lamp hanging above our head is the brightest one in this room. Honestly, I think, I honestly think like, well, I don't think anything works. I think there is no ball in the first place. Yeah, I think he has no balls. And... Well, she calls me not the brightest one, so I'll just point at her. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. Oh, I think it's like asking their opinion. Okay, what about you, Lieutenant Striker? His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. Oh, gosh. The other one is like, Malcolm is left-handed. Pick left. The other one goes like, Right hand, you never go wrong with right hand. Open up your mouth, Malcolm. It's in your mouth. I know. Oh gosh. I think I think I'll go with left. I think I'll go with left. Although I don't think there is any ball in the first place. Mm-hmm. See? Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. See, see, it's not in his hand. I know. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Well, you said it would be in your hand. <sighs> okay, can we just cut off his foot now? And what is the foot if not I'm the so hand of the leg? Him. You lost fair and square. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? What is the foot if not the hand of the leg? What is the foot if not... Huh! No, no, I don't think even a doctor would say like, the foot is the hand of the leg. No, I don't think even a doctor would say that. It's not a valid argument, but okay. Let's not fight with the royal jester. There is a reason why he work as a royal jester in the first place, alright? But... <sighs> oh, and don't worry about your father. Mm -hmm. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. <laughs> don't worry about your father. We will just give him more money for him to beat. Just more money for him to gamble. So you can fulfill his position with ease. This is the first time I see, like, your father is, I would say, taking his time, like, go, not, not taking his time, like, doesn't do his job properly, he's ditching his work. 
and then his superior, okay, like his most superior, yeah, the people that he reported to, is actually encouraging him to do that. Like, yeah, 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 just go. Let your daughter fill your position. Go, go. Ditch your work more. Don't go to work. Just go gamble. But go make yourself even more poor. Yeah. That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. <laughs> your new mundane job, just like almost everyone on Earth right now. And yes, have a good night's sleep. Got it, Lieutenant Striker? It's called being an adult. Yeah. I forgot to add that to my statement, actually. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Alright. I trust you won't disappoint us. Have I ever disappoint you, ma'am? These past two days, okay? These four-star ratings do not lie. Thank you, ma'am. I can I can be arrogant for this thing, okay? Four stars in two days, all right? That's more than your hand. You only have two hands. I have four stars. That is actually not an equivalent comp comparison, but let's just roll with that, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, three adults. Oh, wait, what? This is cool. Okay, it gets turned off and the lamp is now all lighting up. Wait, I want to talk to Why did you them? turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. <laughs> she wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. I should have brought another drink. <laughs> Wait, so the whole turning off the lamp is just to look like... Is just to look like mysterious? Yeah, it's just to give off this mysterious feeling like... Goodbye! And then darkness. All darkness. But I can still see them. I mean, they got lamb. And they got candles. Of course, it will still give me some light to see them. <laughs> they say nothing. As if they're no longer there. Except they are. This is like a challenge. Like us ice bucket challenge? Is that is that the one challenge where like you film a video? I think that is a very old challenge, a very old trend, but you film a video and everyone just froze, like stop whatever it is that they are doing in that video. I think they're doing that right now. Mm-hmm. I want to no, there is no more <laughs> dialogue? Okay, what what if I take out something? What if I use this? No, I can't. Alright then. Okay. Uh, let me just pretend so that you guys will be satisfied. <gasps> Where's everyone? Where's everyone? What why are they gone? What what just happened? Okay, let's just run away from here. Okay, they're all suddenly gone. I don't know where they are. That is so creepy, okay? Is this a horror game, Hilltop Studio? No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm just going along with the plot. That's what they want, so I'm going to pretend that, well, like what they want. Alright, let's go back to the tavern. Mm hmm. Oh, that's my Hamish. That's my dad. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? <laughs> oh my god. I love, I love Lil so much. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make it two. Make that two, Arda. Hey, oh. Wait a You're too young to be drinking cold ones. <laughs> Make hers a milk, please, Art. That's for me. That, that one for me. The cold one is for Lil. I think you are mixing us up, okay? Lil wants the cold ones. I want the milk ones. Thank you. Can it at least be cold? <laughs> oh, she's trying so hard to be a grown-up. That depends. How did work go today? Oh, my 
my gosh, I met the love of my life, Dad. We found the love of our life. Okay, she's beautiful, she's bloody, she's covered in blood from head to toe, and she sings really well. It's like a siren song, Dad. Okay? Did better than a two star rating, I can tell you that. Yeah, was... four stars. What are you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? Oh, so he knows. He knows that, well, those three people is actually relying on them right now to do their job. Mm-hmm. Wait. After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. <laughs> after yesterday, okay, after the day I play Little Guardsman, I don't know what's normal anymore. So I can relate to you, Hamish. Alright, and I want to take a look around the tavern, can I? Hello? There's someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy Blinkers, Gerby Bonbons. Garby Bunkers, I think. I forgot his name. Anyways, though, actually. it's just through that door over there. Okay, thank you, Arta. Oh, oh my God! So many people waiting for me. There is that Mister. Oh my God! I forgot his name already. The Hat Something. The Hat. Yeah, the Hat. The Mister Hat Something. That Malcolm is a madman, but at least he pays well. And with you working the guard shed, I'm pulling in two salaries. Your milk is on me. <laughs> oh, so the payment goes to him instead of us. All right, let's just hope that doesn't go into gambling, all right? Hello! Hey, we have extra of the daily special today. Eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? Oh my god, this is our first time talking to her. May I know your name, ma'am? Mm-hmm. No, we're not going to take it. Okay, can hey, I talk again? We have extra of the daily Oh, it's the no, same dialogue. Gonna... Alright. And hi, how are you? Is that your new hat, sir? Oh, that actually looks good on him. This hat? Mm -hmm. It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Oh, he still needs to find another hat. I see. It's okay, sir. By the time, as the time goes, you will find the perfect hat for yourself, just like love, okay? Just go forward with time, just go forward with your life, always keep your heart open, and I think you will eventually meet the love of your life, meet the hat of your life, okay, sir? And It's yeah. broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try, ma'am. I'll try. And after I fix it, I want a discount on the whole drinks, alright? Especially the milk drinks, thank you. And oh my god, this guy. Prince Phineas Phineas Finikin? I forgot. Yeah? Aha! There she is, the brilliant mm -hmm. little half pint running the desk. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Oh, well, actually... Mm -mm. Actually, we fight with each other, okay? So... Wait, I can lie? I can lie, right? Because actually, I let them in. But in this one, I can answer him. I can told him that I send the Marfa empo envoy home. I don't let the Marfa envoy in. So... Alright. Children, if you are watching this, please know that this is actually... <laughs> not a very good action. Not a very good thing to do. But I will say to him that I kept them out. When in fact, 
I'm letting them in because we vibe with each other. We curse people. I love, I love the Marfa and Foy. Even though, even though she is so hostile, she is so violent, even it baffles me, alright? And yeah, I kept them out. Yep, I sure mm -hmm. did. Kick their Thanks ass up. back to Marvog. <laughs> Kick their ass into the spra. <laughs> Incredible bravery in the face mm -hmm. of a brutal murderer. <laughs> okay. It is, in a way, it is. It is. If you think about it, okay? If you ponder about their story, about their tradition, about, well, their whole kingdom tradition, it is. But, well, she's fun and she teach me how to curse. Well, actually, she's just telling me what I already know, but we vibe with each other. Eh hey. Oh, eh -hey. you know, all in a day's work. What kind of gold are we talking about here? Mm hmm I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. Oh, thank you. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to oh, the throne no. of Petrad. Okay, okay, calm down. Okay, Prince Phineas. Yeah, I just remember his name. I don't even, I don't even know, I don't even know, like, if we will get to meet him, but if I get to meet him and he's repeating the same conversation that this envoy has, I'm kicking him out, alright? Son no of King getting Phineas in the and Queen Buttermilk, who's yeah. daughter yeah. of King... Yeah, yeah, Just the gold, thank you. Just the gold, thank you. We don't want historical family tree lesson, thank you. Oh, yes, here you are. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But honestly, whoever voiced this character, I forgot his name. I just know him as the envoy of Prince Phineas. They are brilliant, okay? Because that voice and the way he speak, okay? It actually leaves itself in my mind. Prince Phineas, son of King, I forgot, Junior and, and Queen Buttermilk, yeah. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, to the back alley. Hey, nice music. Well, you oh. can. Hi, you opened your shop. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, banger music all around. Welcome to Garby Bunches and mm -hmm. Brim of Wonder. You're my very first customer. Oh, I'm honored. And who put this music on? Is this your stereo? You have a good Spotify play playlist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be supportive. I was yes. actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And mm -hmm. I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. Oh, he found a business opportunity just by watching us kicking people and letting people in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Isn't this the the shield? I forgot. The shield that... Uh, who is his name again? I forgot, but that indie knight. <laughs> I'm remembering people by the names that I put on them, so I'm sorry. But yes, the knight that comes with a fake horse. This is the shield that he used, I think. Yeah, and oh my god, is this the trumpet that our envoy, the envoy of Prince Vinius, that brings with him? I think he is, yeah, I think it's the same trumpet. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup, and now uh -huh. I'm selling guardsman tool power ups. Ooh, okay. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind, as well as power ups for all of your tools. Oh, we can we can increase like upgrade our tools now. That's cool. It's pricey, but the mm -hmm. more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Ah, uh, it's for okay, loading a lot more crystal into our gadget, into our tools, yeah. Finally. If you need cash, 
You can sell me anything yes, you might have taken yes, off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Yes, that is what I want. Alright? Let me just sell all of this thing, okay? Uh, let me sell this, definitely. We don't need Prince Vinny's photo. Like, what? Who is he? He's just a prince, okay? He's not some K-pop idol. Why do we have his photo card? No, and yes, I'm sorry, Praetor Cargan, you too. Mm-hmm. And oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I forgot we have this in our inventory. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about the hat. I mean... Yeah. Garby, please don't ask question, okay? If you have... If you see this pouch, yeah? If you see this sack, don't question what is inside, okay? Just accept this as it is, alright? Take it, take it. Yeah, take all of this. Buggle and then go... Sh should I sell this? It's like returning this to him. <laughs> like, yeah, I get your papers that I confiscated from you few days back then. And if you want them back, yeah, pay me five dollars. <laughs> I feel like I'm being an evil guardsman. This is not little guardsman. This is an evil guardsman. <laughs> and, oh my god, I don't want to sell this. I don't want to sell Fosse. No, I'm not going to sell Fosse. I will keep the Fosse in my inventory, okay? Just in case our bloody bell is going to come. And maybe we can return the fosse to her. Yeah, let me just sell the rat pain, I think. Or do I actually need that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, let's just go and yeah, sell this one as well. Alright. So what should I buy? You know what? I actually... Wait. Decoder ring, metal detector, truth spray, x-ray, bullwhip. You know, honestly, for me, I think x-ray is the most useful tool out of all of them because you can immediately just see through them. See what they are bringing with them. I mean, so far we have like two cases that need us to x-ray them. I mean that horse, Lucy, the fake horse, we can actually see through them if we just use the x-ray, I think. So, can I like upgrade my x-ray, alright? And maybe buy some power crystal to help? Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for now. And yeah, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. All right. Is that all? Can I talk to you again? Back for more? Fe oh, okay. There is no more dialogue with him. So... Oh, what is that? That cannot be safe. Lil could fall into the sewers if she could walk to that part of the screen. <laughs> But she can't. Alright, so she's safe for now. Well, we can check the garbage. The smells coming out of that dumpster. Indescribable. Is this a smell of opportunity that you say, Garby Bunches? Hmm? Because I'm not staying around for that smell of opportunity. Nope. Alright. And I can talk to... Yeah, I don't think I can talk, like, have any more conversation with him. It's not as fantastic as my previous hat. Mm -hmm. My journey, it continues. Good luck, hat traveler. And yeah, let me... That Malcolm is a... Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do any more talking with them. So let's just go home and sleep. And pat ourselves in the back for a job. Well done. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Actually, we should have done this last episode, okay? I think I've done everything I need to do. Mm -hmm. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Hit the hay! And, oh yeah, who are you talking to? What, you? 
quiet developer this is a very important moment between us okay this is the moment where we discover each other this is the moment where he discover where she discover that she has voice okay commentating after her action okay strategizing with her this is the moment where we find each other Riri and Lil meeting with each other Breaking the fourth wall Mhm. Mm Hit the hay Alright mm -hmm. Oh Oh yeah, I forgot about this one Yeah, I forgot that after each of this chapter we got an info, we got like a sneak peek, we got like, yeah, a conclusion to the people that we let in. Wait. Shamus McGoblin did a commendable job painting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he really is quite skilled. He never let a drop hit the floor, and he did all the ages without using tape. Really high quality work. It brought a much needed breath of life into the room <laughs> where some people wait for execution. I mean, imagine if you are Shamus Mac Goblin and you go into an interview where you want to apply for where he wants to apply to become well a painter. And then they are asking, like, oh yeah, you got a, an experience here, we see. Dungeon. What kind of dungeon that you are painting? Ah uh, yeah, I am painting that dungeon room where people is waiting for their execution. Added some nice touch of blue and green over here and there just to make everything looks lively when they are waiting for their execution. Okay, dark jokes all around. <laughs> We need, we need that therapy schedule. Shamus went home with his hard-earned paycheck in one hand and a bouquet of flowers for his wife in the other. He put six goblin, he put his six goblin children to bed, swept his wife off of her. F oh, oh. Why this is so detailed, the flower? Swept his wife off of her feet and took her to their room. Their seventh child, Becky McGoblin, is due sometime in the spring. Yeah, I'm, I'm blocking Becky's name. You can see it, right? This is so detailed, alright? Yeah, but but uh, congratulations for your upcoming daughter. Mm -hmm. One more devil spawn added to the family. Huh? Wait. Anton Harcourt Matt, yeah, I remember his name is so long that I don't remember. Without his bugle, the Petrardian envoy managed to make a favorable impression on the princess, the advisors, and the rest of the court. He lost them though when he tried to make bugle sounds with his mouth. Imagine like I am the Fenton Harcourt Mod, envoy of the Prince Minions. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, yeah. All respects gone through the window. <sighs> that night, <laughs> lying in his bed in the chambers, provided for visiting dignitaries, he felt smug that he had managed to successfully slow down the competition. By bribing a card spam. Hmm. I'm so sorry, but 20 gold is not enough for our payment. We need more. Make it 20,000 and finally we can talk business. Unless it's 20,000 gold, okay? I'm still letting the. Uh, I forgot. Marfa envoy in. Mm hmm. He thought to himself, maybe. I missed my calling as a spy. <laughs> but quickly rethought it as he considered the life expectancy for a Petrardian intelligence agent. I'm sorry, Fenton. You're Fenton, not Tom Cruise. So throw that spy imagination away from your head. Away. Okay? 
Aya! Senior Capello Fantastico. Senior Capello Fantastico entered the sprawl and began his quest for the perfect hat. He ventured to every store that sold hat gear in the sprawl. Henry's Hats, Linda's Leeds, Homer's Haberdashery, The Chappy Shack, My Dear Millinery, Hats, 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 All Caps, and even Edel's Yarmulke Yard. But none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. Oh my gosh, I love their writing so much. I mean, I would not think about All Caps being the store's name. I mean, it's, it's caps lock in keyboard, and he usually use all caps to say like, uh, you are saying your words in all caps. You are typing using all caps, and they use that for a store's name. Oh my god, I am really, really impressed. They need to raise your payment, okay? Whoever writing this. But rest assured, Senor Capello Fantastico will not relent until the top of his hat is restored to its former glory. <laughs> oh gosh! Hi! Yeah, this is the Marfa Envoy, Mayala. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. After relaying Praetor Cargan's message to the princess. Wait, why are you still carrying this sack? I thought I sold it. I thought I sold the sack. I thought I gave the sack to ba Garby Bunches, yeah? Why do you have another sack? Filled with, well, obviously something that we can't disclose in here unless we are inviting community guidelines to smack me in the head. The Marva Envoy walked past the National Ballet of the Sprawls Repertory Company rehearsing in the park. Oh no, I'm nervous. What? What? What is she going to do? Because I think their ballet version is different from the ballet that she knows. Oh my gosh. The ballerinas of the sprawl were doing things completely wrong. The Marva envoy decided to join in to teach them a thing or two. <laughs> now, the sprawl's ballerinas are experts in first position and first degree work. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Why are you just jumping, twirling around? What is that beer away? No! Get that knife. I'm teaching you guys how to do ballet. <laughs> oh no. Did I do the wrong things by letting her in? Did I just change the whole ballet industry in this sprawl? There's... Oh my god. There is no longer going to be a Swan Lake performance. No, it's all about Swan Big, okay? Oh my gosh, I changed the whole ballet industry by letting her in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I want to screenshot this because this is really hilarious, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay, screenshot it. <laughs> Since the envoy was distracted, the Praetor never got word if the princess received their message. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry Praetor Cargan, she is hard at work changing the ballet industry here. <laughs> she is hard at work making more mercenary here. <laughs> A ballet that can kill. Oh my god. John Wick, okay, the whole John Wick package is going to lose against an assassin ballet. It sounds much cooler, honest. But don't worry, they'll show up anyway. This is a leak. This is a spoiler, okay? The Praetor will come. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, Sir Buffarly. 
The night entry, the fake Sir Buffurly took off his fake armor, got back on his fake horse, and went home to his real hut, where he lived with his real mother and wallowed in his very real depression. <laughs> it's, it's fun how they mishmash the word fake and real in the paragraph. Because yeah, all we know about him is this everything about him is fake. So the word real is very much needed in the conclusion to assure us that yeah, this is the real conclusion. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is! Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, no. What? Glow encountered a guard patrol outside of the city gates and attempted to pickpocket them quietly. Which she didn't do successfully on account of all the singing. Oh, I think that guard patrol. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but I think that guard patrol has a hearing problem because how can she not success when she's pickpocketing while singing? That guard patrol, okay, doesn't realize how much of a blessing it is to have her singing at him. In jail, it only took her five minutes to be sent to solitary confinement. Ah, oh, no! No? Wait, that's all? Ah, uh, what? It's news in the morning with me, your news anchor, Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. Oh, so A representative sad. from the Small Rodent and Budget Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. Breaking news. The Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. Mm -hmm. Breaking news, that was my last piece of breaking news. <laughs> Keep tuning in for all your Sprawl news updates. Mm -hmm. We now return to our regularly scheduled radio silence. Okay, alright, oh my gosh. No, I'm, I'm so sad. Glow is in jail? You know, I think I should go back. I think I should visit Malcolm. You live in the dungeon, right? You live in the jail. Maybe we need to visit Malcolm. Maybe I need to become the jail guard, not the gate guard. Yeah? Why would I go guarding gate when the love of my life is rotting in jail right now? I better guard her. Now listen to her singing, actually. Not guarding her, she's perfectly capable of guarding herself. I just want to hear her sing. <laughs> okay? But, oh no, if she's in jail, she can't come back to the gate. Oh no, oh no. Alright, let's just turn the radio off. And start the day. Mm-hmm. Okay, is there anything else? Anything new that I can click on? Okay. Breaking news, my butt. <laughs> Breaking news, my butt. Yeah, your butt is going to suffer again today, Lil. You are going to have to sit in that chair. Looking at people. Looking up, actually. And trying to see whether or not we should let them in or we should kick them out. Oh look, another note. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, huh? Lil, I'm off running an errand for Lieutenant Striker today. Apparently, she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. Okay. Really shouldn't have competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. Oh no, we are, we are now replacing him to gamble as well? There is an extra 
Pfeiffer FIFA just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. <laughs> yeah, because we got luck. We got luck. True. He doesn't need luck, I will take it. Our dad doesn't need luck, we will take all of them in. Mm hmm. Alright, let's begin our third job in the guard's post. Oh my god, I am nervous. This is where it came, this is where it started, the nervousness, the anxiety. The royal writ. Okay, let me read this. Expect the arrival of Crown Prince Vinius of Bertrand and Raider Cargan of the Marva Empire. Don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily, Ash. Okay? Today is the Goblin Ball 3 Goblin Cup semi-final between our beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning. The bastard! <laughs> I like it when the text has the curse because that permits me to curse. <laughs> Ash, yeah? There has been a BS report, Bang of the Sprawl, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. Oh, so really, today's theme is all about sports, about goblin ball, I see. A reminder to the guard force, city officials are forbidden to participate in grey market sports betting. Too late, ma'am. Too late. We are all already deep down in the hell hole. We as well could go playing hell divers right now. Yeah, we are hell divers right now. Hell diving to the hell hole. The hell hole of gambling. The guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray if necessary. Striker. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yeah? Mm hmm Here it is. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay, so she did mention that there might be a lot of smuggling and I think that would require us to have more x-ray. I will just max this x-ray to the max, okay? Put them in, put them in. One more, please. Yeah, one more. Oh, wrong, wrong. I'm so sorry, no. Yeah, one more, mm-hmm. And alright, go back and let me charge this one up as well. The truth spray. And okay, this is tricky. Should I go with bullweep or decoder ring? Um we will go with bullweep. Okay, and decoder ring. Alright, one for each of them. Alright, let's begin. Oh my god, all stack up. We are so ready. Bring in the smuggler, bring in the gambler, bring in the envoy. Not the envoy. Bring in the suitor, yes. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> yes, it is I, little one. Heir to the throne sure, of Petrod. Sure, 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 Here before you sure. in oh, the flesh. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Say that again and I will whip you. Say that again and I will whip you. Shush. Okay? Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. I'm averting my eyes. I'm, I'm looking at you guys right now. This is a prince? This is a prince? Prince Phineas, heir of the king... I forgot king what? I still forgot what... What is the name of your father, sir? Because I forgot. Totally. Although I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am mm -hmm. a humble man. One of the people. No better mm -hmm. even than you, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> tiny. 
He says tiny. Oh my god. Don't you know that tiny is the name of their current publisher? It has the name tiny in it. Are you roasting your own publisher, Prince Phineas? Alright. I don't know what to do. Maybe let's just talk, yeah? Let's just talk with him again. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal mm -hmm. sofa mine were a complete success. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I can if I can use one of the tools, but I don't think it will be that useful. I mean, why would I want to whip a crown prince? I mean, I want to accompany Chloe in jail, but I'm not going to do that just to go to jail, alright? Only four deaths, which is far fewer <laughs> than the last. Only? Hello? Life is a life. Every life is precious. And I am a vampire, mind you. I am the one saying that. No matter, we look forward mm -hmm. in Batrade. No sense crying over spilt... Um, well, there, there it is. Mm -hmm. Queen Buttermilk. Mm-hmm. Oh, I haven't guess this him. No, indeed. Why, those pathetic working-class miners, best thing they could do is die anyway. Stop taking all that oxygen. Huh? Lil? Lil? She is both like, oh my god, Hollywood class acting, Leonardo DiCaprio type of acting on us. Okay. Oh, my thoughts exactly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, no. 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 No, oh gosh. Let's talk more, let's talk mm, more. I've heard tell that the barbaric warmonger Praetor Kargan is my chief rival for the mm -hmm. hand of your fair princess. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious about how Princess Desdemona looks. So far, so far, we don't have any clear view of her. I don't get any clear view of her. I am very much looking forward to see like what kind of princess that is actually inviting this manipulative man and one bloodthirsty woman to our kingdom. <sighs> Can't even find decent competition these days. Mm -hmm. The Marvog are a loathsome bunch of butchers, killing each other over the tiniest <laughs> infractions. Oh, if only he knows that the envoy is right now starting a whole new mercenary business. <sighs> Bump into someone in the checkout line, trial by combat. Accidentally sneeze on a secret <laughs> heirloom, trial by combat. <laughs> Worst vacation of my life. <laughs> well, wait, look, accidentally sneeze on a sacred heirloom, that is a crime, okay? <laughs> trial by combat. So imagine if I don't actually give them access to inside the town. It looks like, you deny me access? Trial by combat. <laughs> and now, this trial by combat tradition is being taught to our ballerinas. To the people that are dancing ballet in this town. You want to watch my performance? Trial by combat. You want to get a seat in VIP seat? Trial by combat. <laughs> I like this tradition. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just tease him well, more. How dare they not appreciate you doing them the honor of blowing your nose on their most precious and sacred heirlooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like if we tease him more, like if we side with him more, the more he's going to open up, well, his dark side to us. Mm-hmm. You are indeed wise beyond your years, gatekeeper. Oh, <laughs> those Marvog should have thanked me for gifting them my royal mucus. <laughs> no, no, oh my gosh, that is so disgusting. That is disgusting, okay? Your royal mucus, mucus developer, even though you add like a scientific word over there, it's still disgusting, okay? Even though you ha you add like some scientific cool words looking mucus and pair it with the word royal to make it even look more sophisticated, it is still disgusting. No. No. God, double barf. Triple barf? 
Okay, we are going to prepare for our quadruple barf. Uh huh. <sighs> Alright, yeah. Let's just talk with him again. I mean. Oh, for goodness sake, let's get on with it already. Do I really need to announce myself all over mm -hmm. again? What the devil is one send it on by for? Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, even though I don't want to let him in, I think we have to let him in because it is written in the royal writ that Ash wants the bot, wants the suitors, those suitors, these two suitors to come in. Who do you think you are, peasant, to hold up the likes of me? I am off to marry, and in doing so, create the most powerful union this world has ever known! <sighs> Did he just call us passing? Did he just call us passing? This passing is the key for you to go inside, okay? The sooner you realize your place, the better. Oh my gosh, the sooner you realize who you are talking to, okay? This passing guardsman is the key to your access inside the sprawl. If I say no, you go back in crying to your queen buttermilk, okay? Uh, let's just tease him more. Lordy, lordy, I do apologize for wasting your oh so precious time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just got so dizzy when you arrived, I almost swooned myself right out of my guard post I did. Oh my gosh, no Lil, no, that is some high class level acting, but I... I can't listen to that, that's so cringe. Yes, I have that effect mm -hmm. on most. <laughs> I brought this bottle as a gift for the princess, you know, something to break the ice. Ba battle? But I want you to have it. Something Ooh. to remember me by. What? What is that? Oh, a drink? A cold ones? Cold God, ones? Triple barf. You hear that? Triple barf. It's quadruple barf, actually. Let me check. Let me check that drink that we got. A Tradian fizzy. <laughs> It's from the Fizzington region of Pertrart. Otherwise, it's just an extremely carbonated bottle of booze, alright? But it's quite pricey, so I will accept that. That is quite pricey. Let me check the width once again. Yeah, right? Because they want me to... Yeah, I think they actually want me to let them in. So, yeah, I guess I will just have to let them in. <sighs> All right, in you go, admit. Yeah, just get in. I hope Prince Desdemona can see your true face, your true personalities, okay? And, and with hopefully, that, yeah. It is off to face the princess and destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. Huh? <laughs> He's asking to borrow money from us, the person that he just mock, the person that he just insult. And now he's asking us for five gold coins from a person. What, what is this? Prince and the pauper? Prince and the person but three furs? No, I don't want to. Hmm. Is it that you don't have the money or that you don't want to lend it to me? I don't want to. Can, can I just answer this truthfully? I don't want oh, to. Smart ass ticket taker. When I'm king, I'll remember this. When you are king, yeah. There is there is that traitor Kargan that you have to fight for with. Okay, trial by combat. Feel that first. And then you can be king. Alright? <laughs> In addition to admitting the prince, you, a 12-year-old girl, confiscated an extremely high-quality bottle of Petrardian Fizzy. Mm -hmm. Love this bottle. Gold and gold. Nice. Alright, next. Come here, next person. Come on, I don't have all day. Good day. 
I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. Oh, all right. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Then why did you come here? Wait, wait, wh why did you come here then? Okay, let's just talk with him I first. was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way. In case oh. repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. Oh, and now the prince doesn't want to pay for your expense to go back? The prince doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages of wardrobe changes alone. <gasps> to be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, I trust I'm him. I'm sure they were glad to have you as a personal insurance policy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> if they didn't absolutely need to hire someone to make sure the prince was here bright and early, they surely would not have. <laughs> I see. Yeah, but, oh my god, I feel bad for him. He looks pretty honest, actually. Wouldn't spend a penny on their dying aunt, the Pomp family. Oh, oh. All right. But wait, wait, wait. Um, what is this thing? What is this bag that he's holding? I think that is obviously a toolbox because he is a repairman, I think. But should we x-ray that? I mean, I get three. I get three, and I think I can use that. Let me x-ray you. I want to see what is inside that one. Mm-hmm. Not the inside that one. That toolkit was handed down to me by my great aunt Gildy. Ah. One of the finest restorers of beauty this world has ever known. Mm-hmm. Get like this in the right hands, and there's nothing you can't do. Oh. Okay, I don't think I should take it from him. He sounds like a good guy, so I'll just return that one. I think you'd know what to do with these better than I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We suck. We suck at repairing things. We can roast, but not repair. Sorry. Different R. I appreciate it. Especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. Yeah! Wait, can you give me free upgrade to my tools? Tool enthusiast? Mm -hmm. You got your own awesome toolkit there, and I bet you love using it as much as I do mine. Yeah, we love weeping people, actually, and x-raying people. We love to peer through their bone, through their skin, through their soul. Yeah? Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. Ah, we befriend him! Okay! As That's a, matter a of really fact, good the jukebox deal. at the Twisted Sisters Tavern Ooh. has been on the fritz for ages now. Oh, ah! Oddly enough, fixing Fritzy jukeboxes is my specialty. I'll go there straight away and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. No, I want, I want bell song. I want bloody bell song on that jukebox. If they don't have bloody bell song, I'm going to cry, okay? They should add close song to that jukebox. And then I will spend the night right there. They're, we're not going to sleep, we're not going to end the day, we're just going to sit there, wallowing, drinking my milk, thinking about how we ended up with Glow in jail. <laughs> still sad, still sad. We need official song, we need official Glow song, okay? To make ourselves feel happy again, to raise our mood, to console me. <sighs> Official close song, please. <laughs> I don't understand what any of that meant, but great. Great! Okay. And yeah, I don't think I don't think I can do anything else. So yeah, let's just talk again. If I could have afforded to stay home, I would have. But they made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so to speak. Oh, what kind of offer? And it's obvious that we will have to let him in because he's going to fix our jukebox. And I can't... I don't think we can do that with him being outside of Sprawl. He needs to get in. Was it a threat? A mm -hmm. horse's head in your bed? <laughs> a fake horse's hat in your bed? Is that Lucy hat? Nope, just a big heaping pile of money. The king and queen are desperate for the prince to secure the hand of Princess Desdemona. Okay. Well, 
a big happy pile of money is a very convincing thing to do, yeah? A very convincing bribe. The future prosperity of Petrard depends on it. To be frank, the whole kingdom is flat broke. This is their only <coughs> chance to marry rich. Oh, oh, thank you for the tea, Grandpa. I like that tea. I guess that explains the big deal everyone's making out of this whole let's marry the princess off thing. <laughs> and then plot twist, Princess Desdemona is actually broke as well. Like we have this sprawl and they're going broke as well. So we have two broke kingdom. The only rich one is the Marfa kingdom. Shouldn't she have some kind of say in the matter? Now that is something seriously worth considering. True. <laughs> this is a very wholesome conversation, okay? We're just exchanging tea, spilling tea, gossiping about political happenings in the world. This is like day-to-day -day activity right now. But yeah, come in, Grandpa. Please, come in, come in. And please fix the jukebox. Thank you. Mm-hmm, come in. Okay, I forgot his name already. I only know him as Repairman Dwarf. Mm -hmm. I thank you for this respite for the evening. Huh? I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. Yeah, you're welcome, Grandpa. And I hope that you give positive changes to the sprawl okay i get anxiety when they show that i can up here it's like oh, oh, this is a life-changing decision okay all right By the i way, hope i did do good you know of a good inn nearby the tavern of two sisters two twisted sister or is it two similar sister i forgot the name of the tavern actually no better place than the Twisted Sisters yeah. Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. Yes, to Twisted Sisters Tavern. Go there and fix the jukebox and you will meet two beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Yeah, and you will meet one drunk man over there as well. My dad! All right. Oh my gosh, I did good. All right, four star. Things are looking really great right now. You two enthusiasts need to stick together. Mm-hmm. Okay, next person. Sprinkles. <laughs> huh? A small group of black clad folk approach the shack weeping and moaning. Who are they? Oh, uh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, Sprinkles. Oh, this is the cat that just passed away. Yeah, it is mentioned in the breaking news this morning. But, oh my god, you come in hordes? You come in a lot of group of people? Wait, wait, wait. No, why does that sound so fake? Okay, that is like fake tears all over. <laughs> I'm... Oh my god, this is so awkward. Just looking at Lil's face, like she doesn't even understand. Like, why are there a bunch of people fake crying in front of me? But let's just talk to them, see what else that they have with them. We are them. returning from the funeral services for... Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. My condolences. No, really, I am feeling really sad. When they actually mentioned that the cat passed away, I feel like, oh my god, that's sad. The cat passed away. I mean, the cat could have been a moral support for the duchess. Of something, something, something. I forgot. But why are they like fake crying their way? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the um, remains are being interred at Saint Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the sprawl. Wait, oh, Scarborough. So it's not inside the sprawl. Okay, it is... I think that is another area, another kingdom that is not the sprawl. 
and now they want access to bury that cat inside our pet cemetery here in the sprawl. I see. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euvaginius. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, this is so awkward. Okay, so awkward. But oh my gosh, yeah, I, I'll just I'm trust so you. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry. Honestly, I feel really sorry when I hear the news. I feel sad because I like I like cats as well. I love cats. We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. Hmm. Okay. All right. What exactly is a duchy? Uh, yeah, what exactly is a duchy? That is actually a good question, Lil, because I am not, no, not aware what is the Scarborough area is. Because we have the kingdom of Pertrard, we have the kingdom of Marfa, and the Sprawl... Yeah, we have three kingdoms right now, I think. It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Mm -hmm. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by her grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Okay. Present. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for notifying us about your presence. And it is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the duchy of Caladar. Caladar, okay. Oh, Caladar. What a dump. <laughs> I like you, ma'am. I like you so much. I think she and Grandma Albert Nappy, okay? I think they will get along really well. What? Kaladar! <laughs> what a dumb! I like her so much. I like you, ma'am. Just for that, I might be tempted to let you in. Talk Are more. Are you, um, friends of Sprankles the cat? Yeah, yeah. Well... You know. Mm hmm Friend is a strong word. No. Strong word? Acquaintance more like. No, you are you are suspicious now. And I thought that you all can be trusted. I thought well maybe the on the grandma and the grandpa is the only one that I can trust so far. Sprinkles was loved by the entire Duchy of Scarborough. All of my loyal serfs were ever so fond of her. The way she purred her delight when she was scratched, the dignity with which she covered her litter, a thoroughbred in every sense of the word. <laughs> The dignity with which she covered her litter. The dignity. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. What she said. What she said. You know, I think I think I'll just trust you guys on that. I will trust you. Mm -hmm. I'm trust. sure that the void left by Sprinkles will be impossible to fill. I sense in you a kindred spirit, my dear. I want you to have this. Oh, what? It is my darling Sprankle's first place ribbon in last year's Interduchy Cat Show. Oh, thank you, but it is so precious. Can I really have this? I mean, it will end up in Garby Bunch's shop, I think. <laughs> I need gold. Okay, oh my god, that's ribbon. I don't ribbon. know what to say. Yeah, that ribbon is going to Garby Bunches. Okay. Alright, last action. From those two talking, okay, I am not sure what to do because they sound suspicious. Like half of them sounds honest, but half of it is also feels like a lie, so. Okay, this is probably not appropriate, but I want to x-ray that chest, that coffin. I want to x-ray that one. I want to see what they have inside, okay? X-raying that? Mm-hmm. <gasps> what is that? Oh no. No, you are smuggling something. What's this oh. then? Oh, 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 it's, it's true. Oh, it's true. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's dust. 
Of course it is. There's a corpse in there after all. Yeah? Wait, did I do something that I wasn't supposed to do? Oh my god, I feel sorry now. I feel, I feel really sorry. No, pixie dust. It's an illegal narcotic used by layabouts and no good nicks. Huh? What on earth is it doing inside Sprankles? Huh? Oh my gosh, wait, what? No, no. So you are telling me that you put the narcotic inside the cat's body? Huh? And, and why are you answering that so, tru so truthfully, sir? I confess, I've been holding this inside for too long. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I understand, so... The feeling, like, what, half of them is truth, half of them is lie, is actually true. Because some of them is really honest in their intention to come in here, but the other ones is not exactly honest. They were using sprinkles to smuggling drugs. Oh no, you guys go to jail, please? Please take care of them, Chloe. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. Who does that? Huh? Malcolm, is that you? Are you making problem for me, Malcolm? I plead guilty, Your Honor. On the grounds of I did it. I'm not a judge, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we sit in tall chairs, in high chairs, but that doesn't make us a judge. We don't accept bribe, thank you. We confiscate items from you, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Yeah, yeah, good luck with the funeral and, and we will take care of this guy right here. How dare you put a drug inside a dead cat, a deceased cat, a very lovable cat. Oh my god. No, no, you deserve more than that, okay? <sighs> Alright. Oh, we just automatically let them in. Okay. All right. Have fun burying your cat. Th that is not fun, <laughs> Lil. That is the wrong thing to say. That is not fun at all, Lil. We shall. Yeah. Oh my God. Please don't reply to that, sir. I feel guilty. Even though it's Lil saying that, but I feel guilty. Sprinkles will be so happy at Saint Euvaginias. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. Sprinkles thanks you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. But yes, good luck. I hope everything went well with the burial process. Thank you. Bye. Oh, good. Goodbye. And that's how you x-ray your way to success. <laughs> well, I did thought that the coffin is suspicious. I mean, I think my instinct right now, whenever I see someone carrying items, and they are not explaining what item it is. I think my first instinct is just to X-ray them. X-ray them. X-ray them. Yeah. X-raying everything. <laughs> you did a sting. You foiled a drug smuggler bringing narcotics great pixie dust into the sprawl inside the casket of a dead cat. And you got a ribbon. Yeah, you got a ribbon. What a weird day. Good job. Good job! Continue! <sighs> Alright! Ooh! Phew, hello, I sir! It. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? We good? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. Kaladar? <laughs> what a dumb. Not my word. Not my word, ma'am. That's the word of a grandma, of a very nice, kind, and funny grandma that just passed through here a few seconds ago. Kaladar? <laughs> what a dumb. The word of the grandma. Right I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game. 
Him. Come on, the big goblin ball game starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take a detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Um, okay, let me trust you, you on personal that. Personal drivers can really be an inconvenience sometimes. Oh, you have your own personal driver? Me? I am her personal driver. I'm moving her around, okay? No, and that's what's so inconvenient about it. <laughs> All right, but no, I wait. What what creature is she? I don't want to be a creature assist. Yeah, if that is even a real world, a real word. I'm sorry, but her arm looks so suspicious. Why would you have like a huge? How how do you say that hand? Yeah, even though she has like normal looking arm. But the hem is huge. X-ray this. Anything looks suspicious, just X-ray this. X-ray that. Mm-hmm. X-raying you. Oh! 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 Oh, right. Dad said not to use it on trolls. I guess that's why. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Can we rewind? What's huh? this then? Huh? Somehow her sweatband wasn't completely vaporized. Neat. No, no, that's that's not neat. That's not neat. I need to rewind it's that. Oh my god. That's a high price with a particular type of buyer. Yoink. E oh, oh, could it be for that Sinor Capello? I forgot his name, yeah, but that one looking for the hat of his life. Yes. No, no, let's let's rewind. I need to rewind that. Okay, rewind that. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you vaporized the star player of the color lightning. That is one way to ensure a victory for the home team. I would probably lose some sleep over it though. <laughs> rewind, rewind. I'm so sorry, Saruna. Oh, so she is a troll. Okay, she is a troll, yeah. Rewind, rewind. Yes, yes, yes. So she is a troll, okay? Oh my gosh. I did not realize that she is a troll. I'm so sorry, Saruna. Mm -hmm. Phew, I made it. Mm -hmm. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through oh a while ago, and the game is about to start. We all good? <laughs> still, I'm still in shock, okay? I did not realize that she is a troll. And yeah, I forgot about Hamish Ward as well. So I'm just... That arm looks strange. X-ray. And then apparently... I'm not only X-raying her, I'm also, oh my god, shining this divine light on her and she perished on the spot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm and so sorry. Mm -hmm. Basketball troll, I'm so sorry. You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm so mm -hmm. on a good foot. The star okay, troll and ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. I think I will remember her name just because I am the cause of her being zapped by lightning. I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game! Yeah, and why would you name your team Calder Lightning if that is how you will turn out if you get X-rayed? That's a weird name to name your team. Alright, I think we we already start on a really, a really good position, yeah? I think let's just talk again. Come on, the big mm -hmm, goblin ball game her. starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take a mm -hmm. detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Okay, yeah, let's I know trust what you mean. in her personal again. Personal drivers can really be an inconvenience sometimes. Oh, you have your own personal driver? No. No, and that's what's so inconvenient about it. True. 
All right, and let's talk again. Can we move this along? I'm the starting thrower, and the team needs me to wipe the floor with those pathetic sprawl brawlers. <laughs> sprawl. Wait, you are speaking to a sprawl people, okay? And my death, I think, is betting on sprawl brawlers, yeah. Please refrain from saying anything offensive because I got an x-ray here. Usually, I would threaten people with, I can whip you, but with Troll, I can x-ray you. Mm-hmm. They're such a horrible team. I bet we could win even without my lucky second sweatband. <laughs> okay. What lucky second sweatband? Oh, she's... Can I, can I get this that? This lucky second sweatband. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, you can't take that. I needed to win the big game today. <laughs> I have to take it. It's evidence. No, because it can fetch a high price. Okay, the first time we zap her to out of existence, yes. She mentioned, Lil mentioned that the hat is quite popular for some people. Yeah, for a certain group. So we got the chance to have it. So let's just have it. Mm -hmm. Evidence? What are you talking about? Evidence that you don't need some lousy sweatband mm -hmm. to win a game. You just need to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Do not believe in the X-ray power. Huh. I never thought about it like that before. Okay. <laughs> so she just accept the fact that we took her headband? Sweatband? Yeah. You got a sweatband belonging to the star thrower of the Calder Lightning, Saruna Goodfoot. This will fetch a high price with a particular type of buyer. Mm hmm. Alright. And. Okay. Maybe talk one more. Kid, you took my lucky second sweatband. I got nothing more to say to you. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Yeah, I will admit you in. Chill, chill, alright? Okay, good luck with the sports match. Mm -hmm, thank you for the sweat, Ben. I hope I can fetch a good price on that. Thanks. Now mm -hmm. to wipe the floor with those lousy sprawl brawlers. I feel like we are going to lose now because I let her in. When you hear the crowd cheer on my name, you'll know it's for me. Yeah, because that is your name. Why would they scream Saruna, but it's for your friend or for your enemies? Well, duh. Yeah. Goodbye! Alright. Oh my god, you admitted the star player. Oh, you don't get four stars. Sad. <laughs> because I suffer. <laughs> Okay, you admitted the star player of the Calder Lightning, but without her lucky second sweat pen, it's anyone's game. Mm hmm. <laughs> Still laughing. Okay, oh, who are you? Greetings! I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. Huh? <laughs> Wait, you are not Praetor Kargan. You are not the one who is doing ballet while killing people left and right. She would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Qua pla. <laughs> that is the wrong thing to say. You should say like kappa. Okay, kappa. You are a fake one. You are a fake one. I know you are the fake one, but let's talk with her, okay? Why mm -hmm. do you pester me with questions? I am a very important royal figure and I must mm -hmm. enter your city to meet your princess and marry her. Now let me be gone, child. Quack black. <laughs> Quack black. Quack black. Oh my god. I love this particular episode. Quack black. Quack black. Kapow! Kapow! <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again, lady. Try again. Okay, and maybe next time don't have that duster on your head. <laughs> and why are you... Oh my god. Why are you bringing a phone? An alarm clock. Uh, I can't understand. <laughs> no, no, Just a no. few more routine procedures. 
You mm -hmm. understand. Please hurry. I do not like to be kept waiting. Quada. <laughs> Quada. Oh my gosh. Let's talk again. I Your like her. Sent you had a message for the princess. What was that message again? Mm hmm She's funny, okay? I know she's a fake, but she's funny, so I want to talk to her more. My message? Oh, it's Ikibok Choi Flanagan Mok Talk. It means together we shall be married. Ikibok <laughs> Choi. Stop! 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 This is oh my god, a failure. <laughs> Attempt at scamming. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's cringe, right, Lil? You can feel it, right? It's wrong. Thank you. Quaplorm. <laughs> Quapla. Quaplak. Quaplorm. What's next? How What's long did next? it take you to learn a second language? Mm hmm. Not that long. It wasn't hard to learn Marvagian. I mean, eh? this language we're currently speaking. Why would you need to learn your own native language? That is so wrong. You make a mistake right there, lady. Something right. about you isn't adding up here. Mm -hmm. I remember I have your picture. Maybe if I go and get it, I can... My picture? Uh, there is no need for that. I promise <laughs> you I am the real Praetor Kargan. Straight from Marvog. Mm -hmm. Fresh out of the ballet. If you don't let me in, I'll be forced to send my scary envoy with all the knives after you. No, you should challenge me to battle yourself. Trial by combat. Trial by combat. Trial, trial, trial by combat. She and I got along great. True. We curse people together. Oh. Okay, then. If you don't let me in, you'll never see her again. Her or her head in a bag. Crab cakes. <laughs> This is so hilarious. <laughs> she just straight out saying crab cakes. Kapla, say it. Oh my god, kapla. Just say kapla. Is it so hard to say kapla? Oh my god, no. What good is a praetor's promise to a little girl like me? True. Fine. If you let me in, I'll give you candy. <laughs> candy? Not gold? And now you're trying to bribe me. Not really the dignified behavior you'd expect mm -hmm. from a praetor. No, no, I'm so sorry. This is a deny. This is deny. Okay, but this is I the I am first. the prattler. Praetor! Shush! Shush! Okay, shush. You are funny, but now you are not that funny. So shush. Oh. Wait, what? The phone? What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? They're not the real Praetor Kargan, Ash. Shut up, okay? I'm the one dealing with her. You don't see her saying Kapow, Kaplorm, Quabak, Crapcake. You don't hear them, so shush, okay? Deny. Yeah, deny, deny. Still deny. Because they are not real, okay? This is not the real Praetor Kargan, okay? You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. Mm -hmm. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. <laughs> Quaplort. Goodbye, yes. Kapla. Mm-hmm. See, it's true. You saw through the old fake Praetor routine from a mile away. Who does she think you are? Someone who can see through the old fake Praetor routine? Shh, amateur. Try again next time, Praetor Kargin. <sighs> All right, who, who's next? Oh, dear. Little warrior, she is? I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Mm-hmm. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. This is the real Praetor Kargan. You don't want to mess with her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? <laughs> Even Lil is a fangirl of her, yeah. She's so powerful, okay? Her feminine masculine charm is mixing in wens, and that is very attractive. 
I don't know how to describe it. You mean yes. Kapla? Oh, that's the real Kapla! Yeah, that's the real one! That's the real one! Yeah! Let's go! Get in! Get in! That's the one! That's the one! I'm tired of hearing Kapoor! Crab cake! Stop! Stop! That's the I one! I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to be granted entry immediately. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we should talk to... Yeah, he, she wants to get in, right? Yeah, let's just, let's just let her in. I'm scared as of her, of course. So, in you go, ma'am! She wants and it. thus I mm -hmm. truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. Kappa! You, little mm -hmm. warrior, will have a footnote in history for this encounter. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! Ooh, that Kapla. Ooh, that shakes my heart so much. Yes. Thank you. Ooh, oh, wait, what? Four star? You know, I was ready to, like, just throw away the four star just to immediately admit her in because I am scared of her. Because she wants to get in, like, immediately, so... Yeah, okay, let's just get in immediately, but I don't think that will give me four star, okay? After the imposter, it was very clear this visiting dignitary was on the level. Exemplary job granting them immediate entry. No one could accuse you of unnecessarily delaying anyone. Yeah. Oh yeah, and even in the royal writ, they say do not unnecessarily delay the suitor, so... Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh my god. Close the shack. That is our last quest for today. Mm hmm. Huh? Wait, huh? Four star? Wait, I'm pretty sure I got three star for <laughs> for the basketball troll and for that fake writer. So why do I get four star? Ah, but, but yes, thank you so much. Due to your exceptional job performance, you were paid 30 gold for this shift. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, this is a recap of the people that have come to this place. Yeah, <laughs> she's my favorite. She's my favorite so far. <laughs> what is it that she says again? Oh yeah, Kaladar. <laughs> what a damn. <laughs> I like her. All right, yeah. All right. Mm, yes, Praetor Cargan. Even the name is wrong. It should be Cargan. All right. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. And let the game auto save. All right. Oh, oh, wait. I get. Huh? Wait, I get. Oh my god, so many achievements. Oh, wait, can I take a look at that? Let me, let me take a look at that for a moment, okay? Alright, I checked the Steam achievement and apparently they give you an achievement for zapping the troll from x-raying them and zapping them to a pile of... I don't know, a pile of liquid? Yeah? So, I don't know how to feel about that. But let's continue, okay? Our Hamish, our dad told us to... Wait, there are three places. Garby, Shoppy, and then Twisted Sisters Tavern and the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe go here first? Because Hamish told us to go here after our work hours, so let's go. Mm -hmm. To the Goblin Ball Stadium. And of course, to see our star player, the trolls that... Oh, hello, sir! Wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. Let me talk to you. Hello! Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. Oh! What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? Yeah. Oh, because it's the troll playing inside? 
It's a little on the nose. The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title, and you don't get pizzazz without taking Paul's, or Paul Zazz, as I call it. Care to give your opinion? Okay. Actually, I've really got to be... Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Uh... Maybe exciting, yeah? Perfect. And the stadium, you would say it's a... Uh... It's a... Uh, Colosseum? Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... Oh no. <laughs> for sports, yeah. Well, for my dad, it's to throw away the money and skip feeding me. Because if he lost all money, then he can't feed me for sports, yes? Okay, that is super. Your input will be tallied with the others. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. All right. Oh my god, your choice will have an effect. Did we really change the stadium name with that? I don't know. All right, let's talk to you. Concessions, come and mm -hmm. get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative bump fingers. Gambling. You there, what can I get for you today? But you are only selling popcorns? Did you say illegal gambling? Yeah, yeah, I think he's the source of our father's poorness, Lil. I sure did. You interested? Mm-hmm. I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You want to bet on who's <laughs> going to win the big game? <laughs> I'm 12. Well, it's just, it's illegal. So yeah, I just bet anyway. It's still illegal nonetheless. I can't be any worse at this than my dad. So sure, why not? All right. Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Mm, maybe let's start with Sprawl Brawlers. Okay, we have our nationality soul in here. We actually won our team to win, so let me hear the about them. The home team hasn't been doing too well at home lately. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are still angry at him after that game with the foul and the points got reinstated. Oh. They're more of an away team, but they're a shoe in to win today. If the other team didn't have that ringer Saruna Goodfoot playing for them, you sure you want to bet on them? Oh. Back. How much you're looking to gamble? Oh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I think at this point you will know that I am a very bad gambler because let's go all in. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yes, right, yes. Kid. Your mm -hmm. bet is in. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope I win. I hope I did not just throw away 50 gold. Okay, just for me to lose. Alright, but I trust in my instinct. I trust in my intuit intuition. Yes. And hello, hurts. sir. It is not as fantastic as my previous hurt. <laughs> my journey, it continues. I think he is still looking for the perfect hat for him. Oh, good this luck, hurts. sir. Alright, can, can we enter the stadium? Yeah, we let's can. Let's watch some Goblin Ball. Yeah, let's go! Let's watch. I'm, I'm curious, okay? After one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with a rare capture of the Golden Mongoose, this okay. is still anybody's game. <laughs> oh, that's Malcolm's voice. Andrea Saruna Goodfoot has taken possession of the wagon wheel. My producer is just telling me she isn't wearing her signature lucky second sweatband. Well, that's weird. Lose, Saruna, she's please She's running, lose. she's running, and she hurls the wagon wheel, and it misses the flaming yes! gates by a long shot. What an upset. That's the game, money, folks. Money. A stunning victory for the hometown heroes. What a great day Ooh, of Goblin Ball. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, sir. Lucky mm -hmm. guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Thank you, Fredo. I got my money back and one more. Yeah, and it got multiplied by two times. Thank you. All right. Yeah, so the reason why I gamble on Sprawl Brawlers is because when I snatch her sweatband, her second sweatband, 
it says that your choice will affect this pro there, there is this icon yeah that i mentioned is going to give me anxiety every time it pops up and i thought hmm maybe this is the effect that it has on the sprawl where the color lightning is going to lose because of that and i am happy okay with how everything turns out and how do i leave this place again why can't i leave this place excuse me mm -hmm. all right is there anything else mm -hmm. okay and let's go to the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Mm -hmm. Let me check the jukebox. Is it being repaired already? Oh, oh, hello! I forgot his name, but I remember that I whip him with the old man that is his master. Mm -hmm. This place has been a little quiet lately. If only we had a few more dwarven customers come through <laughs> here. They can fix anything. Ah, uh, well, back to listening to the gentle scurrying of the rat, the chilling of Emma in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your name is Emma. Okay, wait, let me talk to you. Can you please fix the jukebox? Mm hmm. My Arta is feeling my lonely. Gate guard friend of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. Mm hmm. This jukebox doesn't work. Huh? <gasps> Why? Yeah, it's been broken for ages. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please fix it. Can you please fix it? Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. <laughs> rats. Ow, oh, rats. Must have been the rats. Through? Yuck. Rats? Mmm. <laughs> natural erosion? I mean, natural erosion. Oh, I think he doesn't like rats, I think, so we have to avoid mentioning it to him. Natural erosion, my left foot. <laughs> anyway, I can fix that for you. Natural erosion, my left foot. <laughs> I like that. That would be wonderful. For a price. Okay, how much? Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Crap cakes, crap cakes. Okay, that is what Praetor Cargan says. Crap cakes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 15 gold should do it. Oh, that is actually cheap, though. In my opinion, that's cheap. Yeah, yeah, pay, pay. All right, it's a deal. Mm hmm. Fix it. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Mm -hmm. Not like these bloody mages. <laughs> What is with the dwarf and the mage? Do they have some history? I think it is. I think it is tied maybe to the Lord of the Rings. I think I don't watch Lord of the Rings, so I'm not very knowledgeable about how the relationship goes. But I think all I know is that the dwarf should have some beef with the elf instead of the mage. But then again, if you think about it, the mage is mostly consisted of elf, dark elf, so maybe that's why. How long is this gonna take? Mm-hmm. Listen, lady, patience is a virtue. Oh, it's not instant? Oh, is it done? There oh, you go. Oh, it's done! That should give the old girl a few more years. Thank you! Thank you so Thanks, much! Mr. Dwarf. Yeah! Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Mm-hmm. Drink your ale. Please, uh, let, let, let's turn it now on. Now that's better. Yes. Oh my gosh, they have... Oh my god, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Oh my god, 15 gold is cheap for the music that they have inside this, all right? Oh, wait, wait. Mm. What should I put in? I'm not sure. There is... There is no... No clothes on. Oh. Okay, not this one. Not this one. Oh, this is the... Yeah, the winning victory sound after you finish a level. Lil and Hamish team. Okay. Let's just go with this one. Yes, this one. <laughs> yes, the beat. Let's go. Alright, hello, Emma. Can I talk to you? No? 
Oh, wait, what I are you doing it. here? I quit my job as oh. lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned uh -huh. it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. Why? I don't understand as well, but oh my god, congratulations for oh my god, finally getting out of that hellhole. Just one sock, mm -hmm. not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Oh no, no, you make a very incredible choice, alright? And wait, let me change the music no, because apparently better. it sounds so loud, okay? So, I don't know which one that I should choose. Yeah? Traversing... Oh, Traversing the Sprawl is the world map music, I think. And... Okay, just, just use this maybe for now. And let's talk to Arta. I think she's going to love it that we have some music here. Thanks mm -hmm. again for getting the jukebox working. Yeah! You're welcome, ma'am! Yeah, let's go to Garby Bunches, I think. Oh, I just realized that the television is broken. So maybe that's the next thing that we need to fix. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Here we are. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I actually... Mm, no, no, no. Wait. Alright, let's go in here. Mm-hmm. Well, if it isn't my favorite pint-sized Lil Guardsman Lil! <gasps> pint you size. just missed the guards from down at the east gate! Wait, what? Okay. Miss the guards down from the east gate? Alright. They almost cleaned me out. But I <gasps> promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Alright. Yeah, congratulations, Garby! Gee, thanks! Mm -hmm. Take a look! Let me take a look at that one. Okay. Hmm, maybe I should buy more power crystal for now. Yeah, power crystal. Alright. Okay. And can I leave this place? I want to go back to the main menu. How do I get back to the main menu? Excuse me! Okay. Let's go in here. Okay. I want to save the progress. Okay. Because I think, yeah, it's almost two hours. So this is the perfect time to end I don't this really have video. Anywhere to be. Oh, no. That means I have to sleep. All right, then. Let's just sleep and hopefully it will save our progress and then we can end the game. Alright, let's just sleep and see the outcome of all the quests that we have let in, alright? I think I've done everything I need to do. Mm -hmm. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yeah, hit the hay. Let's go. Alright. This is where the victory music comes in, I think. Yeah? Prince Phineas. Mm-hmm. Upon entering the sprawl, Prince Phineas presented himself at court to the princess. But because you didn't lend him a fiver, he was not able to double it in a game of beer pong at the Basilix Club. Which he could have then tripled participating in the Leaky Downspout's arms wrestling tournament. Maybe it's for the best. Mm-hmm. Dwarven Tinkerer, okay, the repairman. The Dwarven Tinkerer left his interaction with Lil, the guardsman, with a spring in his tap. Okay, he's happy. The connection you made in a time of increasing intolerance towards non-humes made him think that perhaps rumors of bigotry in the sprawl had been greatly exaggerated. Oh my gosh, I... My action actually affect the political, the cultural... Yeah, the cultural environment, the cultural situation that is happening in the sprawl. Unfortunately, just before... Huh? Oh no, unfortunately, just before heading up to bed in his room at the inn, 
It took in the night air and chance upon a group of young men leaving the social club for the sons of nobles clubhouse. Oh no. That is oh my god, the bad luck. Yeah. They were able to overpower him and stuff him into a garbage can. Who are you? Oh no. He was found the next morning without his recently discovered fate. <laughs> Inhumanity. Oh no. All my hard work gone to waste, okay, because of a bunch of noble boys. The Duchess of Scarborough, her valet, and their entourage made it to St. Euphigenius just in time for the solemn eye event. Oh, I'm sorry. For the solemn event of Sprinkle's funeral, there was not a dry eye in the house nor a dry crotch when it came to the cats in attendance who commemorated the event by cleaning themselves through the Duchess moving eulogy. Oh, rest in peace, Sprinkles. You will be missed. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. <laughs> Unfortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and 2 a.m. with the help of his mysterious contact on the inside. Oh gosh, Malcolm! Whose office happened to be just down the hall from that particular cell. Oh, we've been there. We have been there. This is screaming Malcolm all over. Mm hmm. Saruna, good food, yes? After the Goblin Ball game, Saruna had to face the scorn of her disappointed coach and teammates. But only for about 30 seconds, as she was the only troll on the team and dwarfed the other players who were all rightly terrified of her. If only they know that they can x-ray her. She went to practice the next day, inspired to live up to her personal best, even without her lucky second sweatband. Okay, you don't need second sweatband, okay? I need it. I'm going to sell it. So yeah. Thrive without your second sweatband, Saruna. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Traitor Cargin. Oh no! <laughs> she, here she is. The fake traitor that you very wisely turned away took their stick on the road and was eventually picked up by the Marfa authorities. Oh no! For impersonating their beloved traitor. Hi! 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 She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet. Lovingly called the Nutcracker. Oh gosh. Now that I know, like, how does they perform their ballet, which is filled with violence and blood and flesh, the name Nutcracker, okay, it hits like, oh no, it's literally Nutcracker. Rest in peace, Praetor Cargin. I'm so sorry, but I can't let you in, Praetor Cargin. Because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She had just the best time. Alright. <laughs> she met a good doc who... Wait, what? She met a good dog who she patted. She kicked a football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the Westphalian green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. <laughs> oh no, this is a very detailed, okay? This is a very detailed description of what she does during the whole during her whole day in the sprawl. All in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoons in recent memory for her, and she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court, where she dazzled those in attendance. Yeah. Good thing she doesn't show her bloodthirsty self to these people. Mm-hmm. Alright.
Yes, let's play Goblin Ball. All right, yes, it's safe. And For let's listen to the breaking news. For all your extreme mm -hmm. sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Mm -hmm. Now, here's Gabin about Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda <laughs> and Pei. Okay. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Pig, you don't <laughs> want to get me started on that. Mm -hmm. I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. Ooh. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... Oh, no. The exciting Coliseum for Sports. Yeah, that is my I choice. Like uh-huh. I hate it. <laughs> We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555 We interrupt this broadcast <laughs> to bring you an urgent announcement. Okay. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has uh -huh. been reported missing early this morning. Oh no, In where is she? In the wake of her mysterious huh? disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. Okay, Wha what just happened now? All right, let's turn the radio off. Uh huh. Do you have any comment? No. <laughs> All right. I think that's it for this episode of Little Guardsman. It's been such a sad time to learn about what happened to Chloe. I wish that she can visit the Guardsman post again and ask and beg me to be let in even though well she is technically inside the scroll right now even though she's in jail and there are some fun time as well especially with the fake freighter i had my fun little guardsman always always for me never fail to disappoint never fail to bring me fun and joy and happiness of course accompanied by their dark joke as well but yes, unfortunately, I think that's it for this episode for more of what is happening in the sprawl and well about Princess Desdemona as well. I think that we'll have to wait until next episode, okay? So yes, thank you so much once again for all of you who have watched until this point. I really, really appreciate it. And if you like this episode so far, don't forget to leave a like in the video. And if you are new to here and you feel like you love watching me play games, don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified every time I uploaded a new video. And... Yeah, if you have something to say, maybe your own personal opinion about our experience so far in this episode, feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section, alright? Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much, Otsuri everyone. Goodbye! Dadah!